What's up everybody? This is Brian Birdsong coming to you today with a video from our scale helicopter build series. You may have remember Nick Wisdom and myself did an unboxing of a couple of fuselages that are available from HeliDirect today and many others. Mine in particular is the Hughes MD 500E um, fuselage in this yellow, red, and blue paint scheme, which is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I chose this bird. It's like one of my favorite scale birds to uh, watch fly and all that cool stuff. It's kind of the, the sports car of helicopters, right? Very fast, very agile bird. So, of course, it only fit my nature to uh, want to sport fly it like that. So I can't wait to get this guy up and fly. But anyway, um, I want to take you guys through my journey of, of putting this guy together. Um, I had to kind of custom fit my, my bird because the manual itself, although very good, right? goes through each step how to get everything completed but what they don't necessarily tell you um, what I didn't read right was that um, the manual the guide is set up for four different manufacturers of nitro birds right I don't have any nitro birds that I want to mount in here I do have this Align 700x dominator kit that I've built flown it flies very well and I said I wanted to use it well because of the nature of its short frame right um, and nitro birds having taller frames, it only makes sense that this particular fuselage here would fit the nitro birds naturally. So I had to do some custom work in here to get my electric bird to um, fit and, and, and play well within this fuselage. And I'm gonna walk you through that. So you'll see how I custom uh, created blocks here. I also added some custom lighting systems here as well, even had to make a small adjustment to my canopy, which I hated to do, but I had to do that to make the motor fit properly, right? Um, also, with some of the swash work up here, I had to uh, kind of dremel out some of the scale um, fuselage up at the top to make it work. But I'm going to walk you through that. So uh, sit back, relax, join me on this journey, um, grab a bucket of popcorn, and I will show you how I got my Align 700X electric helicopter fit in the fun key MD500E. Let's go. So Nick found this simulated LED system pack. Um, I think he found it on Amazon, sent me a link and said, hey, this is what I'm gonna use to wire up any you know, flashing lights, strobe lights, or whatever the case may be on his particular bird. I have a few areas on my bird as well here. Got one up top. Um, I, I do know from other scale videos that there are um, there's a light in the, the vertical tail fan in the back and there's also a couple of lights in the front of the landing gear, the skids. I'll pull everything out the pack and try to wire it up just to make it work here on the table and then see if there's a way for me to kind of wire it up and get uh, a light flashing up here at the top, one here on the bottom of the fuselage and then hopefully uh, within the skids too. So we'll see the lighting system. back so the skids are mounted the landing gear it was pretty simple it was basically taking the post there and pushing them up through the slot you have there then you have um, screw the screw in on uh, just at the top of the post into the wood so that's nice and secure now our bird will now sit up which is looking pretty cool we are making some progress I uh, also got my my lights here again uh, this is the green light that will come out of this skid. Um, again, it's not necessarily uh, stock to fit lights, so I'm going to custom fit it. I saw a nice little YouTube video on what a guy did to custom fit his. So I'm going to do the same thing, but basically I need to probably drill a hole right here in the middle of the bottom of that post. And I'm just going to run kind of a duct up through the, to the top and underneath to the opening on the bottom of the fuse that will feed into kind of that little light regulator um, to make that work. So I'll do both sides the same. So you got green on this side and red's gonna be on this side. So, all right, so now that I got the skids mounted with the landing gear, turn my guy on the side here. I wanna drill some holes down here at the base. to 
fit the secure light in there. And then for this side here is the green one. So basically I took a quarter inch drill bit and just went straight through to give me enough uh, room for the end of the secure light to fit in there. So I'm gonna feed this guy from the front. I'll come through here, grab a, a, a pair of tweezers and just pull that through. And what I'll do is probably just kind of 3D print a duct that would run up the side of this guy here and then over to my opening, the bottom of this guy so I can feed it into the, uh, the light regulator. So that's my next step. I'll show you guys pictures of that. So what's up guys, we're back. So now today I'm gonna um, try to put the, the, the skid cap on that kind of encapsulates the light, right? So remember before we drilled a hole down at the bottom of the, the landing gear post there to pull the light wire through, right? So now we have to kind of make this guy look as scale as you know, this guy here, right? So, so what I was able to do, saw this cool little technique online from another uh, MD500 modeler. I forgot his name. I'll, I'll try to post his name if I see it, give him credit. But basically what he did was took a washer. In this case here, I got a 5 16 inch washer, right? And this uh, large tubing here, which your size is half inch, and able to, and of course my trusty little shoe goo, right? And able to kind of put the wire or the light kind of recess it back in there some, use shoe goo, kind of hold it in place, right? And then what I do is take the actual washer itself and I cut me about a good uh, inch and a half piece of the tubing out and I get the washer inside as I put it over here on the out or the inside, right? Cause you want the light to flash on the outside. And then I just shrink wrap it. Okay, and I just heat it up, shrink wrap it on there, and it looks all good. So I'm gonna do this side, uh, but I already did the other side. Let me show you what the end product looked like. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit, but as you can see, kind of gives me the end cap there, and I got the light bulb exposed, all right? I got the shoe goo on the inside to help weatherproof it, so that, you know, if it gets wet or anything, it doesn't short it out. Um, but yeah, I'm going to clean this up, sand it and all that good stuff, make it look good, seal the hole up at the top. But that's the end cap. I mean, just, you know, kind of this DIY version of putting the end cap on the uh, skids there. All right, mounting the mechanics. Okay, so... Um, got the Align 700X Dominator, it's an electric helicopter. Um, aligned in the bird, aligned in the bird. Um, aligned in the fuselage, um, but because the electronic, um, I say frames are shorter than the nitro frames, you have to add a little bit of spacing at the bottom. So I added these wood blocks down at the bottom. Okay, got them fitted on the landing gear screws. Okay, so they're mounted there. And then what I'm gonna do is take, uh, I went to the store and bought some of this galvanized hanger straps that I can use here to create some little uh, brackets to put here. So take my little straight pieces here, bend them, and I'm gonna mount them like this on all four corners of each block um, and get them mounted down. And then I will, uh, you know, try to do the, the, the CG test so this is pine wood, so it's the lightest wood I could find. But I'll try the CG test to see if it fits properly or if it's uh, balanced properly. And uh, we'll take it from there. All right, 
right, today I'm going to cut the windshields out and get them glued in place. Um, I was able to take my, my Dremel with my wheel to uh, my wheel bit to cut this guy out. So pretty much give you an outline of what to cut out. But uh, I was able to get this cut out. And so now I'm going to use some good old trusty, probably shoe goo to um, just kind of put it on the inside of where the, uh, the pane lines are right there, the window pane lines. And then just press this guy in and just kind of keep some weight on it. You know, give it a good 24 hours to cure and get completely hard and solid. And yeah, I have the uh, windshield mounted, so I'll show you that step next. All right, so got the windshield installed using the self-tapping screws. Not too bad. Got one here in the middle, just going straight through. Just kind of put them on the lines and make it look, you know, scale-like. You know? So it's not too bad at all, not too bad. Yeah, so the screws seem to hold it down in place and I'll just kind of put glue on the back side of them to uh, keep them kind of locked in place so not too bad so I got bottom uh, the bottom viewing windows that I got to put in here as well so I'm gonna probably do the same thing on those so stay tuned for that Started mounting the light fixtures inside as well. So got a headlight here on the front. And of course I got this uh, beacon light on the bottom that I was able to kind of wire in place as well. So I figured, man, the canopy has to come off, on and off, right? I can't necessarily put this in place and have it kind of, uh, you know, connected to the control panel inside the fuse itself. So what I wound up doing was uh, cutting the wire and just putting kind of a, an extension on here. I can just connect to, um, you know, pull apart, connect it as I take the canopy on and off. So did that. We got it wired up using some trusty uh, shoe goop again to just uh, kind of tack it down in place. Looks really good. I'm sure the, uh, the bird itself, the mechanics will probably cover most of that up so you won't be able to see it on the bottom, but it's in place. Uh, give me easy access on the side to connect the, the servo lead to the other wire, all right, which is this wire that plugs into, uh, so that servo lead is going to plug in here, and then this end of the wire goes into the control panel, so pretty cool way of doing that, so I don't have to necessarily permanently connect the wires to the control panel and deal with that mess when I take the canopy on. Uh, off and put it back on. All right, got the lighting control panel kind of loosely fit in there. Got it plugged up to the FBL unit. Got the wires connected for the lights. So I got my beacon up at the top flashing. I got my front headlight and my bottom beacon light which isn't flashing, so I'm going to do that, but got my skid lamp here on the front, red, green on that side, but the tail is together, it's a vertical tail fin, okay, boom, mechanics are centered in there, but here's the last problem, right, the engine, or the motor rather sits a tad bit too high. So we're gonna have to cut out area right there in the front of the canopy. So it will close and the motor fits. So there you have it my custom build out of the MD500E scale fuselage from Funkey um, with the Line 700X Dominator electronic helicopter inside. Uh, took you through some ways of custom fitting a lighting system inside, 
Uh, I never showed a real good picture of how I ran that wire up through. So here's the, the wire that comes from the skid down to the landing gear. And I kind of just ran it up through some heat shrink tubing and went right up through the bottom of the fuselage there to um, kind of conceal that a little bit better. But, um, but yeah, it's a fun process. Um, coming up next is the maiden hover of the bird out in my backyard. But uh, future videos will be bigger flight videos to show you how this guy scale flies. Um, sport fly, rather, I told you it was kind of the sports car of helicopters. So I want to show you guys a real treat on how to fly this guy around. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Um, look forward to the flight video. And you guys have fun. And as our good buddy John Ellis would say, make it look real. Bill scale. Let's go. Got a climb, nice and slow. Thank <laughs> you.